In this video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate the Midas Sword from Hoplite Battle Royale. Now in the game, this sword gains a sharpness level every time you kill someone, which is a pretty interesting mechanic and something that I would like to try and recreate. So we're going to do it in 10 minutes. Let's go. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is create our recipe. So we're just going to call a function in on enable called create Midas Sword Recipe or just create sword recipe. And we have to actually create that function. So function create sword recipe. And then we have to create our recipe variable. So shaped recipe, file create shaped recipe. And then we'll just set that equal to a shaped recipe. And then we have to pass in the namespace key and the plugin. The namespace key is kind of just a way to identify it and the reference to the plugin is just so it knows what plugin to create the recipe for. Oh, and it actually looks like I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to add the item that it produces. So we have to also add the item that produces, but we don't actually have that item. So we're going to call a function to return that item just so we don't have to create it every time. And then we'll make that function get Midas sort item. First thing we're going to do is make it return an item stack and then we'll have to create that item. So val Midas sword equals new item stack and let's make it a gold sword. Okay, and then we're going to need the item meta so we can set things like lore in the title. So let's go to new variable item sword meta or Midas sword meta, then Midas sword dot get item meta or just dot item meta because we're using Kotlin. Then we have to actually set the display name. So Midas sword meta dot display name and then we pass in a component and we'll just say Midas sword and we'll set the text color to gold. We're also going to reset the decoration so that the font and the item name is not italic. And it's I believe it's one of the names text colors. So we do name text color dot gold. Okay, so now we have to actually apply that. So we'll do Midas sword the item and then we'll do set item meta and pass in our variable the Midas sword meta and at the end we're just going to return our Midas sword item stack. So now that should work there and we're going to have to actually create the crafting recipe. So how you define crafting recipes in bucket is with three strings. Each string represents three slots on the crafting table. So it's the top three then the middle three and then the bottom three and then you just use letters to define the item. So here we're just going to define what the recipe is. So a space is nothing. An E we're going to make uh, enchanted golden apple and then we have to define the second line. So it's going to be quartz diamond sword quartz and then the the final line which is going to be nothing golden apple nothing then we have to define what each of those letters actually means so we'll do shaped recipe dot set ingredient and then we'll choose the character that we chose to represent it so e in this case will be a material dot enchant a golden apple and the rest is pretty self-explanatory q will be quartz d will be a diamond sword and G will be a golden apple. We're at four minutes already. Here we go, and then we're just gonna use the bucket API and add the recipe, so bucket.add recipe, and then our shaped recipe. Okay, so now we have to make, actually make it do something. Usually we create a separate package with listeners and create every listener in its own class, but because this is a 10 minute challenge, I'm just gonna do it all in the main class. So then we'll just extend listener on the main class, and then we'll just do server.getPluginManager.registerEvent listeners, and then pass in this, this, which is this plugin and this class for both the listener and the plugin and that will allow us to just do event listeners in the main class here so we'll start one we'll do add event handler create a function for that event handler called entity death event and make it of type entity death event make it take in a parameter of type entity death event then we'll just get a reference to that entity so event dot entity and we'll store that in a variable and we need another one so we need a reference to the killer so we'll store that in a variable called killer equals to event dot entity dot killer and then we have to make sure that that killer is not null and actually we can just do that a better way in kotlin because we have this nice little thing called an elvis operator which you can just do question mark colon and then return. So it means if that value is null, just return. Then we also want to check that the killer is a player. So if not is player, then just return. Meaning if it's not of type player, then just return. Now IntelliJ says that's useless for some reason, but I don't believe it actually is. I believe we do actually need it. Then we need to check what actually killed the entity as in what item killed the entity. So we're just going to do killer dot get inventory or dot inventory in Kotlin dot item in main hand. And then we also want to identify that as a Midas sort. So we're actually going to have to assign custom model data to the item, which we can do back in our get Midas sort item function. We'll just do set custom model data. Uh, I believe it's yeah, set custom model data. And then we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because why not? And then we'll just check if that custom model data, which is actually under item meta, so item meta, and we'll use a safe call there, which means that if the value is null, it'll just return false and it won't throw any errors. So there we go. We'll just check if it's not equal to that. And then if it's not equal to the Midas sword, then we'll just return. So now we've identified our Midas sword and made sure that it's not just some random stone sword or gold sword or whatever kind of sword. We actually know reference to that, so let's just do that. Killer.inventory.item in main hand, because we know now that that is the Midas sword and then we can just set the enchantment so let's do Midas sword dot I believe it's enchantments dot add enchantment or maybe it's just Midas sword dot add enchantment I don't actually remember let me check oh, sorry it's just Midas sword dot add enchantment then we'll do enchantment dot damage all which I believe is sharpness and then we'll set the level but what level do we want to set because it actually increases its sharpness level every time we kill something so we need a reference to the current sharpness level so let's start by putting sharpness one on it by default we can just do Midas sword dot get enchantment level and then pass in the damage all and then plus one so it'll 
enchanted with sharpness plus one or one more than it has and then we'll just check that it's not like sharpness level 50 or something so we'll just return so that should be about everything we need and now it should work so let's give it a test and that's nine minutes 26 seconds we're still under our time let's hope it works all right so here we are on our server we're just going to get all the items we need which is our enchanted golden apple our quartz our diamond sword and our golden apple we're going to use the crafting recipe and hopefully that works let's see yes perfect it works and it's got our item lore and it has sharpness one so now let's try killing something now i know in the actual version of the sword it's only works kill players but that could be an easy change we just check if the entity that died was a player but let's see yep and there we go sharpness 2 so it looks like our code has worked which is pretty cool and sharpness 3 perfect now i don't think this will actually go over unsafe levels because we didn't use add unsafe enchantment but that's a very simple thing we can just change that if we want to which i will actually change here so just instead of using added enchantment we use add unsafe enchantment and now it should go to sharpness infinity or whatever the integer max value is and perfect so that should be everything for this sword if you have any suggestions or any ideas of what i should make next let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments if if you're interested in seeing more of these types of videos. Thank you very much for watching and have an excellent rest of your day.